Alright guys, so in today's video we have quite a bit going on. We have some unboxing to do for some parts for the 327. Uh, we have a review to do for also tools on their oil spill mat. So we'll jump in and get started with the uh, unboxing. Alright, so starting off we'll go with the smallest and work our way to the largest. Um, this one's from Velcro. This should be the head bolts. And so we'll see what those are. Okay, so we got our main ones. Oh, that's nice. So they got these separated. I'm assuming based off which ones go into water jackets and which ones don't. Um, these are the outer bolts. Okay, so that's really, yeah. Okay, so they got the water jacket bolts, the ones for the outer outer side of the head along here. And then we have um, the ones that don't go, we got two sets of each. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, we're gonna set these off to the side. Okay, this one came in a box that was completely destroyed, so I went ahead and just took it out of the box and I haven't opened it yet. Um, this is, I believe, the water pump. Actually, I know it's the water pump. Okay, so I just went with an AC Delco um, water pump for now. Just because I don't have any need for anything fancy at this moment. Um, eventually, I'll probably upgrade to a electric one. Uh, but this is a long neck water pump. Essentially, that just means that this neck here is longer than um, the small ones. Um, but I did some research and found out that um, if I would have had a 350 in this Nova, it would have had a long neck water pump in it. Um, I did that by, just by going to O'Reilly's. So for those of you who are um, curious to know that, I just went to O'Reilly's website, put in that I had a 77 Nova with a 350 and I searched water pump and I looked at the part number that came up and it was a long neck water pump. So I got that. Okay. So this is the big one. Um, I try my best to not look at the uh, shipping information because I didn't know, didn't want to know what was in here to have a little bit more of a better reaction for you guys. But sadly, two parts got back ordered, so I, for the most part, I know that what's in here should be timing stuff. And by timing stuff, I also mean cam, everything along, that, along those lines. I've never ordered a cam, so I am really excited about this. Let's see. Tons of airbag things. Okay. Um, we have something from Seal Power. This should be, I believe the only Seal Power thing I ordered was the, well, it's got Seal Power rings and pistons, but this should be the timing gear. Can you open it? Okay. So we have a timing chain. This is a double roller uh, timing gear set. Okay, and we got a lower. Sweet. They're a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. But, okay. Those are nice. Those are definitely really good quality. Um, again, for that, there is no reason to go anything above and beyond just because this is gonna be all, all but a few parts, this is gonna be a stock engine. So there is no reason to go above and beyond. Okay, we have all right, this is our bolt kit. Um, I didn't want to throw in any of these original bolts that I took off. Um, I have them all, but did not want to use them. And what's really nice about this is this is a complete kit. I believe this was about $40. Um, it comes with every bolt you need and it's all labeled. Um, this is for the water neck. This is for intake manifold. We, guys, this has almost everything. Um, I was curious to know there's valve cover, which I can't use those because those are for okay, long water pump. And that is really nice. So this comes with, not only does it come with the bolts for a long water pump, it comes with the bolts for a short water pump. So that's really nice. That's really cool. Um, and then we got a uh, header. We got header bolts, which is going to be nice. I'm not going to have studs. It's going to have actual bolts. Uh, timing cover. Guys, this kit just came with everything. It even came with bolts for the fuel pump. Um, I will have to get bolts, it looks like, for, um, I don't know, the oil pump I ordered. Um, that's one of the parts on back order. We'll have to see um, what all that kit comes with. I'm not for sure. Move back in here. I'm really excited for this cam, guys. Okay, all right, we have our lifters. Um, this is the kit that I went with. I know I've talked about it a lot, but the kit that I went with for... Uh, cam was the it's part number uh sum k1103 it's the highest cam you can go without uh switching your torque converter 
And so here we have our lifters. Those are really smooth. Okay. Those are gonna break in really nice. Okay, um, so we have those. And, but again, this entire, this was an entire kit. It came with lifters and cam. And let's see what we have here. Get it out. Okay, the one, oh, okay, it does have a simple lube. Nice. Okay, so this, this kit does come with the lube to install it. Um, and it comes with um, a sheet, which I will have a picture of. I'll put up what the specs are for it. Um, and here's the cam. So that looks really nice. I'm really excited about this. Okay, this is gonna be nice. Yeah, so th this should be, this shouldn't be anything too far above stock, but it's definitely the highest I could go with that doing a torque converter. And, and I wasn't for sure, I wasn't sold on doing a torque converter, torque converter swap, sorry about that. Huh. I wasn't sold on that. So I just wanted to wait and see where we're at once we got the engine in there, if I decided that I needed a um, higher stall or not. But I figured this was a good start. And of course we have our Summit Racing stickers. Oh, we got those upside down. Um, Summit Racing stickers. I have tons of those around here. And it comes with a $100 wine voucher, which I'm not gonna use. Um, and for the price of all this, so this was, um, Let's see, we got our double roller uh, timing set. We have cam and lifters and the bolt set. And I actually have prices. Okay, the cam for, again, this part number sum K1103. Uh, that was $112. Um, let's see. Okay. And then it's us. Uh, it's got notes on it. Let's see. Camshaft. Yep. And I'm trying to find the oil pump. Um, that's not going to be on this receipt. Uh, the bolt set was $39.99, so it was only $40. And the timing piece, or the timing gears and stuff, that was only $20. Um, I believe, yep, that comes up to be $171. And I believe between the oil pump and the distributor, I believe that's gonna be a little over another $100 there. Um, so once I get that receipt, I will um, let you guys know what the prices are. And so we're gonna jump into our review for our Ulsa tools. I'll catch you guys in a minute. All right, I was doing some editing and noticed that I had enough footage for two videos. So the Osa Tools garage floor mat will be a whole separate video. Um, I will also be doing a whole nother video eventually over all the parts in detail. So I will have um, stuff like cam specs and all that in a whole separate video. Uh, but yeah, so that's the end of this video. So thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later.